There are several alternatives to the layer technology. One that some of us might be familiar with is, um, you know, 30 years ago, we went to the movie theater and we could get these funny little glasses with uh, green and red lenses. And that gave us a depth perception for specific movies. It never really took off. And it's pretty much dead now um, because of no inconvenience, I guess. The other solution, if you remember these playing cards when we were young, you had these little, we call them holographic playing cards. You could move them a little bit and you would see a butterfly moving their wings. That's basically because there was a lens on there that projected a different image based on how you held the card. Well, people now have taken that technology and created an, uh, an adhesive a sticker that you could apply to your display. And depending on where you sit in front of your display, you can actually get something of a depth perception. It's not very good quality, it's cheap. And for some people it might work. A better quality solution is of course the VR goggle. It's a big thing that you put on your head and it gives you an amazing immersive experience with amazing depth perception. It's really, really impressive. It might actually be too good because it blocks you out of the real world. It's for certain applications, it's a good solution, but usually you don't wanna be blocked off the real world, which is why we don't see people walking around with VR goggles on their head. The Leia solution basically provides the same quality level as these VR goggles, except it does it in the form factor they were familiar with. So it does it on your monitor, on your laptop, on your phone, and it provides you the same immersive experience. It provides you the same detail in perception, in image quality, and it does it in a very convenient way, in a very um, comfortable way uh, to consume 3D content.